Okay, good day guys. So this episode, for this particular episode, we'll be having a rundown of my modifications for my rig, okay, which is the Mitsubishi Pajero. So it will cover all the upgrades and modifications currently in my Pajero right now. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so just a little introduction for my rig. So it's a Mitsubishi Pajero 97 model. So it's a local unit with a 2.5 liter turbo diesel intercooler. Okay, so it is a 5-speed manual transmission with a center locking differential lock. Okay, so this Mitsubishi Pajero was modified for touring, for overlanding, camping, and a little bit of the tough tracks on the trail. Okay, so now we'll go into details with my rig. So we'll run down the different modifications from front to back, under the hood, and as well as some of the interior modifications for this uh, particular rig. Okay, now let's start with the details. So we'll start with the front end. Okay, we'll go with the bar work. So I fit a bull bar in my vehicle, which is the SR Performance Cruiser Series with the loop. Okay, so I fit this for specific reason. Siyempre, alam naman natin na kailangan natin ng vehicle protection. So this is one of them. Okay, so nilagay ko to para makaroon din ng better approach angle yung rig ko. So, mas madaling umakyat sa mga climbs and kung technical yung, yung trail, okay? And specifically, nilagay ko siya okay, to fit a winch, okay? Kasi winch ready na yung, yung bull bar, okay? Okay, so I fitted the winch for, of course, what we know the purpose is for rescue and recovery situation. So, it's a 9,500 pound winch. So, sakto lang siya sa weight ng vehicle ko ngayon. And, um... Uh, Nagamit ko na rin siya a couple of times pero hindi masyadong madalas. Okay, so nilagay ko siya because most of the time I travel alone and nag, nag trail ako ng mag-isa kaya I needed an insurance na makakaalis ako sa mga difficult situations kapag nag-trail ako. Kaya pinit ko yung um, winch na to. Okay, so another part of the front end is the driving lights. So naglagay ako ng uh, driving lights sa vehicle ko. So, 7 inches na no brand. Nabili ko lang to online na HID driving light. So, so far, okay naman yung performance niya. So, nabibigay niya yung illumination na kailangan ko and it helps the headlights para ma-predict ko yung mga madidilim na part kapag nasa trail. Although, I don't usually um, go out or yung night runs hindi ko masyadong ginagawa. 
Kasi most of the time umaga naman eh, or hapon kapag nagte-trail ako. Pero may mga syempre may mga certain situations na kailangan mo ring mag-drive pag gabi sa trail. So nagamit ko na rin siya for a couple of times and it did a, a great job so far. Tapos another part of the front and so meron din akong fog lights, mga maliliit na spotlights and yung headlight ko HID na rin yung uh, nilagay ko. So para mas maganda yung illumination niya kapag gabi while driving on the road as well as kapag nasa trail ako, mas maganda yung sinag or yung illumination niya. Okay, so now moving to the next phase, so yung tires and suspension. So currently I'm fi I fitted a 35 inch by 12.5 by 15 na tires bar by Cooper Discoverer STT Pro. So it's an aggressive mud tire na nilagay ko kasi um, this particular rig, so dedicated trail rig lang siya, so I don't use it on a daily basis. So pang trail lang talaga siya kaya nilagyan ko siya ng malaking gulong okay so to fit the tires syempre I needed a bigger lift so ang unang ginawa ko initially was to fit a body lift so mga 3 inches yung body lift initially na nilagay ko and then nung nagsimula ako kasi 33 inch pa lang yung initial na nilagay ko tapos nag fit ako ng 35s nung naglagay ako ng suspension lift which is the tough dog suspension na uh, full suspension kit including um, yung shocks, yung cold spring tsaka yung torsion bar nung uh, Pajero. Kasi yung yung uh, suspension ng Pajero is an independent front suspension. Um, meron siyang torsion bar and then sa likod live axle siya with the cold spring. Okay, for the specs of the rim, so meron ako nagfit ako ng 15 by 10. Okay, na negative 44 offset. So I needed uh, a wider wheelbase to compensate for the height of my vehicle kasi matangkad na siya. So nila parang ko yung wheelbase niya para ma-compensate at maging stable siya. Okay, sa road mabawasan ng konti yung body roll kaya nila parang ko na yung wheelbase niya. Okay, so yung suspension naman so far so good. So it's a foam cell suspension. I think yun yung top of the line when it comes to the Australian market. So yung tough dog na foam cell Sobrang ganda nung ride niya, so plush yung ride niya, so comfortable And at the same time, kaya ako siya nilagay, kaya ako nag-upgrade nito this suspension Kasi kailangan ko nung rated coil springs para mabuhat yung sasakyan ko Kasi bumigat na siya nung naglagay ako ng steel bar, yung bull bar, yung winch, yung roof rack Kaya nilagay ko na siya, kasi para wala, mawala yung nose dive kapag pumepreno ako at hindi magsag yung sasakyan at hindi nagbubotom yung mga shocks ko So ang ganda, ang ganda nung pagkalagay niya and sa trail wala akong masabi, it's perfect Although wala akong masyadong comparison kasi hindi naman ako nakagamit ng ibang suspension pa Compared to the stock, it's really a big significance yung, yung difference nila, sobrang layo Okay, so for the suspension, if you wanna get serious sa pag 4x4 going off-road and trail And kung bibigat yung sasakyan nyo, I recommend na mag-upgrade kayo ng mga rated cold spring and yung mga suspension na ganito. Okay, so I'm not suggesting you to get this particular brand, pero get the same variant. Kasi kailangan na sasakyan kapag bumibigat siya at kapag uh, nagiging medyo tough na yung pinupuntahan yung mga trails. And then another um, question na uh, kailangan kong sagutin. So may mga nagtatanong kasi sa akin kung ano yung largest tire na pwedeng i-fit sa stock height ng Pajero I think yung largest na nalagay ko nung stock pa yung sa akin is 32 inches na 10.5 by 15 so I think that's the maximum na walang significant rubbing sa fender okay so yun yung pinaka suggestion ko na malalagay nyo and then kung syempre mapag-isipan nyo talagang yung mag-offroad na kayo I think you need a bigger tire and an aggressive tire so Preferably magsimula kayo sa off-road tire na all terrains na 33 inches Tapos kung talagang magiging seryoso kayo na hindi na magiging daily driver yung sasakyan nyo Then go for the mud tire Okay, so yung, yung 33 inch to fit it So kailangan nyo ng at least 2 inch na lift Whether body lift yan or suspension lift So kailangan nyo mag uh, pataas ng sasakyan para may pasok yung 33 inch nang walang problema
Okay, so sa back end naman ng sasakyan ko. Okay, ang meron lang, wala na masyadong nangyayari. Hindi pa ako nagpalit ng uh, steel na rear bar. And yung uh, naglagay lang ako nung uh, tow hitch adapter. So, for recovery purposes. And kung sakaling uh, maglagay ako ng bike rack kapag nagbabike ako, nilalagay ko lang siya doon. Okay, so nothing much. Yung spare tire ko, same size doon sa current tires ko. Although iba yung rim. Kaya nilagay ko siya dyan kasi it's a very important um, aspect of the vehicle. Okay, kasi kapag hindi natin alam kapag magkakaroon tayo ng sitwasyon na gagamit tayo ng spare tire. So kailangan laging meron tayong nakahanda. And then for the top part of my vehicle, so naglagay lang ako ng uh, no-name brand na roof rack. So steel roof rack siya na gutter type and then nag-fit din ako ng awning tent for the shade. So ito yung mostly ginagamit ko sa camping and I think nakita nyo na to on some of my episodes na kung paano siya iayos o buksan. Okay? So it's a 2.5 by 2.5 meter na awning tent by King's Adventure so Australian brand siya it's a fairly cheap na equipment pero malaki yung tulong niya okay especially kung mahilig kayong mag camping and actually kahit pag nagde trail lang kayo magagamit siya every time okay and then for the under the bonnet or under the hood So, fairly stock lang naman yung sasakyan ko. So, stock pa rin yung makina. 2.5 turbo diesel with the factory intercooler, factory na turbo uh, turbo charger. Tapos, ang nilagay ko lang naman, mostly engine protection. So, naglagay ako ng oil catch can, ng power drive. Tapos, naglagay lang din ako ng differential breather kit. Okay, para kapag nagre-river crossing or kung may dadaanan kayong tubig, medyo protektado yung mga differential nyo. Tapos protektado din yung makina nyo sa blowouts dahil dun sa oil catch can. And then, nag-fit din ako ng, so sa side part nung uh, sasakyan, nag-fit ako ng SR Performance Snorkel. So, ginagamit ko siya kapag nagre-river crossing. So, kailangan natin ng vehicle protection, engine protection. So, yung may itik kasi ng stock vehicles o yung mga regular vehicles, mas mababa sila. So, kailangan natin siyang iangat para hindi malunod yung sasakyan o hindi magkaroon ng tubig yung intake papunta sa makina okay? and as well as it helps kapag dumadaan kayo sa mga maalikabok or dusty na mga terrains so nakataas yung intake nyo so hindi masyadong pupunta yung, yung alikabok o yung dumi sa intake kasi mataas siya compared sa mga regular vehicle na usually nilalagay nila sa ilalim ng uh, front fender And for the interior, so ito lang naman yung meron ako ngayon so far Hindi pa masyadong na-modify yung sasakyan ko when it comes to the interior So wala pa ako ng mga drawer system Wala pa akong uh, refrigerator, dual battery system Tsaka yung lighting sa loob, hindi pa rin nagagawa So hindi pa kaya kasi ng budget But I think this particular setup works for me So yung mga regular lang na bibili natin sa, sa mga regular shop So yung cooler Meron ako ditong box sa lalagyan ng mga recovery gear. Tapos yung mga different camping gear ko, hindi dito lang sa lakod. So far, so good. Okay, so hindi ko naman kailangan ng ridiculous na, na setup para makapag-camping. Kaya ito lang muna yung current setup ko. Okay, so what I like most about my rig is actually the vehicle make and model. So, yung Pajero itself. The Pajero na 90s model. Okay, so... I have a thing about this vehicle kasi nung bata pa lang ako pag nakikita ko tong mga sasakyan na to nung bata ako gustong gusto kong magkaroon yan sabi ko nung bata ako and then yun ngayong medyo nag high tayo at na-achieve natin siya Okay, so it's not the most powerful 4x4 out there comparing to its competitors like the Land Cruiser na AT Series and yung Patrol na GQ or yung Patrol Safari kasi mas malaki yung displacement nila pero ang gusto ko sa sasakyan na to, has enough power to overcome obstacles and yung engine niya, yung 4D56 is very reliable so meaning ano na yun eh, legend of the 90s na yung makina na yan up to now, ginagamit pa rin yan ng iba't ibang sasakyan tulad nung L300 yung Adventure yung mga truck na Canter 
And yung mga naunang versions ng Montero, yan pa rin yung engine block na ginagamit. So it's fairly an old engine, so marami nang marunong gumawa niyan, kaya reliable siya. So kung may masira man, anytime, pwede kang kumuha ng parts dito around the Philippines. Ang dami-dami nang makukuha. Tapos yung mga tips ko sa mga merong mga Pajero dyan na same model ng sa akin. Okay, so kung magsisimula kayo at nag-decide kayo na gusto nyo i-modify yung vehicle nyo, I think mag-start muna kayo by using your vehicle ng stock siya kung mag-offroad kayo ng stock muna siya. And then, doon kayo mag-decide kung gusto nyo ba talaga o hindi. Okay, ngayon, kung gusto nyo maging serious about it, I think you could start by changing your tires first. Okay, kasi yung tires yan yung para sa akin pinaka-importanting parte ng sasakyan when it comes to off-roading. Kasi kapag good set of tires, tamang tire pressure lang, okay, so mas mapapaganda yung ride nyo eh. Tapos magiging maganda yung traction nyo. And then, after getting a good set of tires, Siyempre, kung gusto nyo nang mas mataas yung clearance nyo, tumaas yung sasakyan nyo, kailangan lumaki din yung gulong nyo. So, to fit a bigger tire, you may need a bigger lift. So, kailangan nyo ng lift. So, ano ba yung lift na pwede sa Pajero na 97 model? So, yung ginawa ko, since nakahiwalay naman yung chassis sa body, so pinabody lift ko siya at hinaluwang ko ng suspension lift. So, currently, nasa around 5 inch yung lift ko para ma-fit yung 35 inch na gulong. Okay, so bakit ako nag 35 inch? Kasi yung sasakyan ko, gaya na sabi ko, hindi to daily driver. So dedicated off-road rig siya. Kaya nilagyan ko ng malaking gulong kasi gusto kong ma-overcome yung mga uh, mas technical na terrain. Kaya nilagyan ko ng malaking gulong. Okay, kasi mas maganda yung clearance ng mga sasakyan na malalaki yung gulong. Although yung disadvantage kapag nilakihan mo yung gulong mo, bumibigat yung sasakyan at bumibigat yung... Uh, nadadagdagan yung effort ng makina mo kapag lumalaki yung gulong. Kaya, ang cons nito or yung disadvantage, yung hindi to regear your vehicle kapag lumagpas ka na ng I think more than 33 inch. So ako, nasa 4.88 gear ratio ako ngayon to compensate for the 35 inch tires. Okay, so yung um, I think yung principle ko when it comes to modifying my vehicle is simplicity, functionality and performance before style lang ako. So, kung makikita nyo yung sasakyan ko, lahat nung nilagay ko dyan, I think meron silang purpose for me. Okay? So, lahat isa-isa dyan, meron silang gamit para sa akin. Wala akong uh, nilagay na accessories dyan na hindi ko ginagamit. Okay? Kasi based on my experience, doon ko dinesign na ilagay yung mga yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, wala naman akong yung over accessories na tinatawag. Wala ako nung mga light bar, yung mga maraming ilaw dyan na nakalagay sa bubong ko wala ko nung, wala akong rooftop tent wala ko nung mga yan, kasi nga number one, mahal sila and then, kailangan nyo ba talaga sila kung ilalagay nyo sila kung ilalagay nyo sila, consider nyo rin kung ilang beses nyo silang gagamitin, sa isang linggo sa isang taon, sa isang buwan diba, baka hindi nyo man sila magagamit bakit nyo, sa, nyo sila ilalagay Of course, wala naman tayong problema kung para sa style yan, nasa inyo yan. Pero ako, I'm more of the cost-effective type na, na tao. So, yung mga nilalagay ko, gusto ko within the budget and then at the same time, meron silang function para sa akin. Okay, so, I think that's just me. Hindi ko lang alam sa inyo, pero yun yung ma-advise ko na personal note. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. So, I hope you like it. So kung meron kayong mga komento, meron kayong gustong suggestions regarding my modifications, feel free to write or type on the comment section below. And then, lahat ng modifications ko, ilalagay ko dyan sa description box sa baba. Okay, so that's it for now. Enjoy lang ako muna. Chill ako dito sa beach. Drink my cold beer. Okay, as usual. And then, don't forget to like. Tapos, share nyo itong vi uh, video na to sa mga barkada nyo na nagpo 4x4. Mahilig sa kotse yung mga gusto palang mag 4x4 para ma-inspire sila. Okay? And then, subscribe on my channel. So, click nyo na yung subscribe button na yan para hindi nyo makaligtaan yung iba ko pang magiging episodes. Okay? So, this is again Jerome of Lakbay Diwa TV. Okay? Telling you to go outside. Go out there. Make an adventure. Lakbay lang tayo. Goodbye.